The Challenger accident occurred on January 28, 1986. The mission designation was STS-51L. Liftoff occurred at 11.39, 13 Eastern Standard Time. 73 seconds in the flight, the vehicle exploded, ultimately killing all seven crew members. This video is being posted on the 39th anniversary of the accident in memory of the crew. The liquid hydrogen tank now at flight pressure and all three engines ready to go. Coming up on the one minute point in our countdown. T minus one minute and counting. Sound suppression water system now armed. The hydrogen burn igniters have been armed. These igniters will be fired at T-minus 10 seconds to burn off any residual hydrogen gas. T-minus 45 seconds in counting. The solid rocket booster flight instrumentation recorders have gone into the record mode. Coming up on the 30-second point in our countdown. T-minus 30 seconds, and we've had a go for auto sequence start. The SRB hydraulic power units have started. T minus 21 seconds and the solid uh, rocket booster engine gimbal now underway. T minus 15 seconds. One and lift off. Lift off of the 25th space shuttle mission and it has cleared the tower. Good roll program confirmed. Challenger now heading down range. Engines beginning throttling down now at 94%. Normal throttles uh, for most of the flight 104%. Throttle down to 65% uh, shortly. Engines at 65%. Three engines uh, running normally. Three good fuel cells. Three good APUs. Velocity 2,257 feet per second. Altitude 4.3 nautical miles. Downrange distance 3 nautical miles. Throttling up, three engines now at 104 percent. Challenger, go with throttle up. Challenger, go with throttle up. One minute, 15 seconds. Velocity, 2,900 feet per second. Altitude, nine nautical miles. Downrange distance, seven nautical miles.
flight controllers here looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. We have no downlink. In conclusion, what made this even more tragic is the fact that NASA officials had been warned the night before not to launch in such cold weather. This flight launched in the coldest weather ever, and the accident resulted from the solid rocket boosters not sealing properly. If, as recommended by Morton Theocal engineers, they had just waited a day the temperature would have been warmer, and the accident would not have occurred. If you like this content, please support this channel by making a donation or buying a product through the links mentioned in the description.